Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel for her entertainment. Today um, I want to go ahead and give a review on the hair that I purchased from Prime Kitty. In my previous video, I did show you guys, I did a complete unboxing of the wig and I showed you guys what it looked like and um, I told you that I did like it so far from what I had seen. But once the camera was turned off and I went and actually washed the hair, um, I just did not like the quality of the hair. Um, it just it started to matte like right after I washed it. And also, um, I was able to see that some of the thread that was sewn into the wig for the wefts was purple and it was not attached like there were like two long strings that were hanging down so something had came a loose or um, it wasn't properly fastened by whoever hand wefted it and um, there were also these like orange hard plastic like fibers in the hair and I, I just couldn't settle for that so um, I actually ended up returning the wig back to Amazon and um, I purchased a wig from Sheen Real and I will be uploading a video of that later on this afternoon. But um, you guys, I'm gonna keep it real with you all. I don't get paid to do these reviews. I spend my own personal money and I spend my own personal time uh, doing these product reviews and uploading them for you all. For the purpose of growing my channel and helping people out at the same time. Now, however, Prime Kitty on Amazon, they do have pretty good reviews. Um, they're in between like a 4.1 and a 4.4 as far as their rating. Um, they do have some good ratings on Amazon, but then they do have some ratings where people are saying that the hair is a lot um, less dense than what is stated on the website. And I did find um, a lot of those reviews to be true. And similar to my situation after I had took a really good look at the weave. So um, I'm not gonna delete my previous video about the wig. I'm gonna keep that up, but I'm also gonna go ahead and post this one about my review of that wig because I don't want anybody to um, purchase something that is not going to be in their best interest, you know, but anywho, um, the quality of the hair, I did burn it and it burned pretty fast. It burned, it burned quite fast. Um, and then I had took a sample of my hair and I burned it as well. And, um, it just, it didn't burn as fast as the Brazilian wig hair did. So I thought that that was kind of sketchy. Um, the fact that they would tell you that the hair is um, 10A grade, but yet it's a blend is like, it's beyond me. Um, the quality of the lace on the wig, the lace quality was fine. The lace construction was fine. Um, it's just the quality of the hair and the fibers that was in it. I just couldn't do it. I mean, it just it just was a no for me. You know what I'm saying? Just like it might be a no for some of you all. But I'm not going to tell you not to purchase the wig. That's not what I'm telling you. I'm just telling you what I experienced after I purchased the wig. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're okay with the blend, some people are. But if you're one of those people who's okay with the blend then that's fine. You can go ahead and purchase it. But if you're one of those people who, you know, you want full natural hair without any blended fibers, then I would recommend you to look elsewhere. But, you know, if you're just somebody who wants a temporary wig to wear for like a temporary event or whatever, then you can go ahead and purchase it. But I will recommend that if you do purchase it, um, buy the silicone mix shampoo and conditioner to keep it from matting. Um, let me see what else about that wig that I didn't like. 
um, the combs and everything were secured properly. The um, the drawstring, the the the, uh, the the what you call it? Hold on, you guys. <laughs> but um, the string in the, the in the back that tightens the wig was secured fine. I didn't have any issues with that. The packaging and everything was fine. The only two things that bothered me was the fibers that were in the hair that were orange and um, also the density of the hair. Um, that I was told that it was like a 150, but the hair was like, it was very thin. Once I put it on, it didn't frame my face in no kind of way. Like you could tell that I was wearing a wig. Um, the parting uh, was, it wasn't the best. It was gonna need some tweezing. But it just wasn't dense enough for me. It was not dense enough for me. Um, so if you want like a really dense, thick look or thick wig, if you need like a lot of hair to like maybe frame your face or to get a layered cut, you don't want to purchase a 150 and end up with a 130. You know what I'm saying? You want to stick in the 200% density range. And then if that's too thick, you can cut down from there. So, so far with that wig, the only two things that bothered me <coughs> was the density, uh, the quality of the hair with the mixed in fibers, and one more thing uh, regarding the threads that were hanging down in the back of the wig, the purple threads. I don't understand why somebody would put purple threads in a black wig. I don't understand that, but I don't understand why two long threads would be hanging down. That could easily be seen if I shook my hair from side to side. So yeah, those three things, you guys, were like a no-no for me. And um, I ended up sending the wig back. But like I said, if you're okay with fibers and you just need something cheap for like a real quick event, go ahead and purchase it. But if, you, if you're one of those girls and... You know what I'm saying? You need a perfect wig that's going to last you, that's not going to mat up, that you're not going to have to put too much work into, then I definitely recommend you guys to go elsewhere. Okay, you guys? And stay tuned for my unboxing of my new Sheen Real Brazilian wig. Thank you, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if you've purchased from Prime Kitty. If you did get good hair, if you didn't get good hair, if you had a bad experience, leave a comment. Just let me know and I will reply because I like to interact with my viewers. Like I said, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys have a great Saturday. Bye-bye.